All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to be discussing what happened to the second class staircase on the Titanic. There were two different main second class staircases that were the main access points for second class passengers aboard the Titanic, located at the aft of the ship behind the first class aft grand staircase there were two stairwells the forward stairwell spiraled down from the boat deck to f deck but had no exit onto a deck as that was an exclusive first class deck it was however equipped with a lift operator and having a lift attendant in second class was an innovation at the time and one of the main themes you'll hear in researching and watching the titanic is just how elegant and very traditional second class was the second class on Titanic was many different ocean liners first class at that time in the early 1900s very traditional design looking at both the staircases including the one with the elevator the aft staircase was located below the aft mask although it had no elevator it was all paneled in wood with white and red tiles on the floor there were a couple of chairs on each landing this one spanned b deck to f deck and gave access to various locations like the second class promedon the second class library and the second class dining room along with second class cabins on f deck both stairways were more traditionally designed than their first class counterparts with a main oak design little interesting note on the c deck landing of the aft second class stairwell there was often a hub of activity on board with a piano being located there and the second class stairwells were kind of the area to be for second class passengers you could access a number of key areas on the ship the library you can take a look at that the second class promedon which was partly enclosed super rare for second class very very nice that's something you would normally see in first class like a enclosed promedon with windows along with the second class dining room and most of the cabin so just taking a look at the second class stairwell again there were two different ones located towards the stern of the ship and I just think it's such a nice traditional look. You know, it's not too fancy. The fact that it had an elevator was just kind of an added bonus during that time frame. Very, very rare. Uh, unfortunately, in terms of this one compared to the first class, you know, the Grand Staircase is, obviously is better. There's no doubt about that. But it, it really just reminds me of like a traditional middle class staircase, you know, like going from the foyer up to their bedrooms and things like that. That's really what I get. And it does kind of have a, a first class Grand Staircase feel looking at the main one because you can see going all the way up to the sky right there towards the back there is the entrance of it that is towards the stern kind of the final area of the main boat deck entering the room and then also some flooding yeah that is not realistic at all that <laughs> this area never flooded or no i would say it probably it might have flooded just because at least some of it where it was located of course the stern going down very very quickly a lot of the rooms towards the very, very back of the ship, like the third class cabins, maybe even kind of the second class stairwell, a lot of it didn't even flood because it went down so quickly. That's the whole idea of the implosion. So it's kind of unknown how flooded these rooms really got. But in terms of during the sinking, like for the two and a half hours during when rooms were being filled... All of this was left completely untouched. None of it had any water. The only thing you could say is after the breakup, as the stern was going down, was probably when it got hit with a bunch of ocean water, and then the implosion happened very likely shortly after that. And then when it comes to where is the second class staircase right now, can we explore it on Titanic? Well, considering it's in the stern... That should give you a good idea. The starboard wall of the forward second class entrance split and collapsed in. The port wall is generally intact. The fore wall is smashed and the starboard wall is caved inward and split. 
The weather shields for the doors are still in place. The boat deck aft of the entrance caves in down to A deck. The elevator machinery housing the top caved in, smashing the boat deck elevator walls below. The roof of the machinery housing was blown off when the stern slammed into the seafloor. And then when it comes to the aft staircase, the aft wall of the aft staircase has become a very prominent feature in the destruction. The wall with the windows is torn off the deck and lies slightly twisted over the stairwell in the entrance. The interior condition is unknown, but most likely unrecognizable since the stern section pancaked down to around half of its original height from the violent descent and the subsequent down blast onto the ocean floor. You know, it's amazing looking at what it actually looks like and being like, how do you figure all of that, folks? I mean, the thing looks like a bunch of debris. Let's just call it what it is, right? That That's the problem with the stern, but uh, that is very much likely what happened there. It is in a state of complete... It, and there's nothing left, I would say, when it comes to that because all the decks pancake down on top of each other. If you have the implosion, the entire interior gets blown to smithereens, and then when it falls onto the ocean floor, it compresses down. That would be my best guess on what happened to many of the second class areas just based on their location close to the second class staircases. The stern right now, the last time they went down to it, which was very recently, it's just in horrible shape. It's completely collapsed down on top of itself because all of the decks have no support. All of the walls have been blown out, we suspect, from the implosion and it's just deteriorated over time, so really anything when it comes to the stern. I mean, you can take a look at it during the original breakup because the second class staircase was located towards the back. It was pretty much unharmed on the actual breakup, and then, you know, I could speculate on how the flooding happened as the stern went down to the ocean floor. Maybe the area received water. Maybe it was just imploded before water even got to it. That's all just speculation. Either one could have happened, but it was destroyed shortly after going underwater. It is interesting to think about. Think about this hypothetical for a second. Imagine you're trapped in the second class elevator and you're going to the ocean floor, but because the stern didn't flood yet, you know, you're, you're perfectly fine. How long would it take for you to get crushed by air pressure? Think about that hypothetical for a second. But in all seriousness, because the top of it was located on the boat deck, it would be very easy for water to get in through the top. The interesting thing would be understanding how the actually this bottom of the second class staircase would flood theoretically, you know, if it happened the way we think it did with the stern going down without water in a lot of it. It would flood in through the top and drain down the stairs. But if it's going at like a 180 degree angle down to the ocean floor... It's a very hard thing to understand how that flooding actually happened. And when it comes to the second class library and its current condition, at the time the condition of the second class library is unknown due to its location within the extensive damaged 350 foot long stern section of the ship. It is thought that this part of the ship had not completely flooded when the Titanic sank. A lot of second class areas located towards the stern and especially the third class cabins and the third class seating area or common area, whatever you want to call it. All of those areas likely imploded because water just could not get to them in time. As the ship sank to the ocean floor, uh, much of these rooms in the stern section, especially the second class and the third class, very likely destroyed. And it's unfortunately, it's left the stern section pretty much completely unrecognizable when it comes to, to dives down to the Titanic and possibly going into any of the rooms, mainly because the decks are just completely annihilated. Either way, guys, that is the story of the second class staircase. When it comes to the image of it, you can see where both of them are located. The palm cord is like right behind one of the second class staircases. That was not accessible. I know it might look like it from the, you know, the interior map, but the palm court was only open to first class passengers, of course. And, and you can just kind of see how both the different stairwells worked. It was not like a grand staircase thing, but there, two, there were two different ones. Similarly, how there were also two different first class grand staircases as well. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.